You definitely haven't had a winter like this in a while. Damn. Folks, Mark, 69 here, back once again. This time here to do number 21 of my final pickups videos. Uh, yeah, as you saw earlier, it's pretty fucking snowy here in Sweden. We haven't had a winter like this in fucking ages. So yeah, it's been pretty crazy, especially with the fucking traffic. It's been insane. So yeah, um, in the background, we're listening to Boris. Attention, please. Haven't spun this in fucking ages. Yeah, one of Boris' more uh, poppy albums. Good shit from Japan. Yeah, I've been getting a lot into metal lately. Uh, I mean, I grew up listening to metal. Uh, death, black, the whole shebang. But um, I've kind of been expanding my horizons um, quite a bit over the years. But lately, I don't know, I've just been listening to more to metal, I guess. I don't know why. It's just uh, that way, I suppose. I've been watching a lot of more metal vinyl videos, uh, like um, YNX Him and Count Blagrath, Ray Spencer. Um, Canyon, um, Party Worm, yeah, good fucking shit. So shout out to those awesome guys. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start with records. Got a couple of metal records this time around. Definitely will be more metal records next time. But for now, we got three, and the rest are non-metal. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> start with Black Breath, Sentence to Life. This is an awesome fucking Swedish death metal. I guess you would call it at least the style. Um, uh, I guess it's a bit more on the thrashy side of things. Really thick jacket. Got this are quite cheap actually. Really good release from them. Um, yeah, they're from America. So they're not Swedish in that term. But in the musical term, they definitely have a lot of um, influences like in tune. Uh, yeah, really thick, awesome jacket. Um, got an inner printed sleeve here. With the hammer once again. I don't know why they did that, because like that, a bunch of fucking uh, really tiny pictures down here. I don't know why they didn't just put the pictures like full sized on here, because just like this is already in cover, so I've already seen this. Whatever. You got a lyrics on back. Uh, regular black vinyl. Nothing too fancy. Yeah. Good fucking death metal. Really fun death metal. The catchy riffs, just fun stuff. I really enjoyed uh, the record did before this as well. I <clears throat> don't remember um, what it's called. But yeah, the one with the blue, the bluish cover. Yeah, good tracks on here. Um, Sentence to Life, Home of the Grave is fucking kick ass. The Mother Abyss, Endless Corpse, that's a really good fucking title. Yeah. Kick ass if you listen to some death metal. Do some fun old school Swedish style death metal. Check it out. And uh, these two records I got of Fallen Empire Records. Uh, both uh, I got to know through Mike Seatown. Um, uh, one of them he did a review of, which is this one, and the other he showed in the vinyl video. And both are fucking awesome, so I definitely was glad to pick those up. Starting with Serpent Slayer with. Oh, I gotta butcher his fucking title. Circumbabulating the stillborn. That's my hell of a fucking tongue twister right there. Yeah, so this is a pretty new release. I, I think they just uh, released this like last month or something. Really awesome cover. I first got the digital release on their website. You can pay whatever you want for that, so I do recommend checking that out if you're interested. Really good, dark, fucking awesome, uh, scary black metal. Good fucking shit from Denmark. Um, got an insert here with a picture of the band, which you can't fucking see because it's too fucking dark. It looks like um, they're standing in a sewer somewhere, Copenhagen maybe. I don't know if they're from Copenhagen, I'm just guessing here. Um, yeah, really good fucking black metal. Uh, yeah, Mike C. Dunn did review this and uh, he gave it a pretty good uh, score. I don't know. Does he even give scores? I don't know. I'm just talking out of my ass here. A uh, regular black vinyl, which is fitting for black metal. Yeah. 
good fucking shit. This wasn't too expensive. Uh, the other record I got from Fall Empire was a bit more pricey, but it was worth it, which I will show you why in a little bit. For right now, but the music is not too loud. Yeah, so this is. I just. Uh, when I saw the covers, like, uh, this is. Uh, weird from Blackwell, I guess, but. Um, when I listen to this, I'm like, wow, this is fucking awesome. Really good atmospheric black metal. It's a uh, famous monolith by um, uh, Mer Cognitum? Mer Cognitum? Mer Cognitum? I don't know. I, I tend to forget this fucking name. Yeah, really digging the cover. So, as you can probably guess, it's kind of space themed, which is cool. I really dig the whole, you know, cosmic black metal thing. Kind of um, gives me a Lovecraftian vibe. It's a gatefold, as you can see. There's a moon rock here. Uh, I don't know, pretty boring, I'd say, in terms of what's going on here. The back, I mean, the um, the back and the front, there's definitely more cool artwork there. Definitely kind of sci fi ish font right there as well. So, yeah, the reason I got this uh, Odin's from Fallen Empire, which are really awesome guys, by the way, because I contacted them and asked them what shipping costs to Europe. And they actually recommended me to buy it from uh, a European site instead. It's like, who does that? That's pretty fucking awesome to do. Uh, but I decided to buy it from them anyway, because um, the European sites don't, at least not for now, uh, have the colored version. And the colored version of this is fucking awesome. I uh, saw Mike C. Dunn show this, and uh, I was like, I gotta have this really cool fucking marble-esque uh, swirl, I guess, of the purple. I don't know what to call this, but it's it looks delicious as fuck. I just want to kind of lick it. This was the main reason I got this from Fall Empire. Uh, yeah, really, really good atmospheric black metal. Uh, really enjoyed this. I uh, listened to this while I was studying for an exam, and uh, listened to it like two, three times. I was like, I gotta have this. So I went ahead and ordered it. This is the second record, it's a bit more clean. You can see. This side is uh, blank. No etchings, but uh, someone on Paul Empire put their fatty fingers on here. So there's a bunch of fingerprints, which is not cool, guys. But yeah, overall, really enjoy this. Uh, it's a one man. Black Hill Project from uh, California. Yeah, a lot more awesome, interesting Black Hill uh, from the US the last couple of years. It's awesome to see. You know. um, yeah. Once again, this is Merrick Needham with uh, Phobos Monolith. Also released a uh, new project this year, I think. Haven't given it too much of a listen yet. Uh, but I will. Uh, moving on, uh, those are all metal records, so if you're <laughs> not interested, you maybe you want to turn this off, I don't know. Or not, maybe if you're a little bit open-minded, you'll check some of those other stuff as well. Um, yeah, this is a great, great, one of my favorite records from 2014. It's a great singer-songwriter album from Sharon Van Etten. Are we there? I love this album so fucking much. It's just fucking great. Um, yeah. Wow, I don't know what to say, except it's fucking phenomenal. If you, if you like kind of folky music, just read really phenomenal voice more than anything, uh, check this out. Gatefold. What, um, <clears throat> and lyrics written in cursive, so you, yeah, not easy to read that, so that much. And it's a kind of picture over here. Fuck. Yeah, um, this is a great record to listen to if you're um, depressed, I guess, or uh, been through a breakup, especially the song um, Your Love Is Killing Me. It's uh, definitely, definitely a um, breakup song. We've got an inner print and sleeves, a picture here, and some lyrics, which are not in cursive. Oh, wait. No, it's not lyrics, I'm an idiot. This is uh, thank you notes and um, overall. Who played what kind of shit? Yeah, don't, don't listen to what I have to say, I'm a, I'm a moron. 
Yeah, uh, absolutely phenomenal uh, singer songwriter. Sharon Van Etten. Definitely one of my favorite records from uh, 2014. Yeah, if you feel interested, check it out. Really, really phenomenal voice. And uh, where did I put this? There it is. I ordered this a while ago, but it came pretty late. But they're all really great release. Moving on with, um, I said in an earlier video that uh, On the Water was my favorite um, Future Island record, but I can't change my mind because I've listened to this record over and over and over, and I just uh, love this record so much. In Evening Air by Future Islands, a great fucking band. I saw them uh, last year at Wayne Quest. Uh, I've great performance, probably one of the best during the whole festival. Yeah, I absolutely love this artwork as well. Really great shit. Um, yeah, you get uh, you don't get an inner princey, but you get um, well, you do actually get an inner princey. I'm just an idiot. You don't get an insert. We get this print sleeve uh, as well as a regular sleeve for the record with the lyrics and just the um, tracks. A really great tracks on here: "Walking Through That Door," uh, "Tin Man," uh, "Inch of Dust," and. Um, Swept Inside is also a phenomenal song. Uh, the lyrics for Swept Inside are fucking great. It's great, really. Turn into your heartstrings. Uh, yeah, regular black vinyl. Yeah, if you're looking to get into Future Islands, um, this is a pretty good start, I'd say. This or um, singles. Is their probably most well known album since that's uh, when they kind of really hit it off. Yeah, great fucking stuff. Future Islands, some really great pop music. Moving on, probably one of my favorite folk albums of all time. Uh, really great talent that was lost at a young age. Nick Drake with Pink Moon. Uh, Love the artwork as well. Yeah, absolutely great uh, folk musician. Uh, yeah, if you're into um, shit like, I guess, Fleet Foxes or whatever, um, check this out if you haven't heard this already, because it's really, really great. Uh, yeah, too bad it, um, what happened to him. Um, yeah, Gatefold. Really great artwork, as I mentioned. Up here, and this is a repress. Obviously, I usually don't ever go for the uh, original pressings because I don't really give a shit. Like as long as it looks good, it sounds good. I don't need the first press at all. So whatever. Got inner print sleeves with pictures of sleeves. That's interesting. Uh, 180 gram. Sounds phenomenal. Yeah, as I said, if you're into folky music, uh, if you haven't uh, heard this already, you definitely owe it to yourself to check this out. Really, really great, somewhat depressing stuff. Yeah, definitely, uh, I think most people would agree his best work. I think this was the last album he did before he died. Quite tragic. Yeah, phenomenal, phenomenal album. If you notice, the second album I got from this artist, also saw her at Wayne West, also saw that earlier, uh, I think it was the year before or the same year, uh, Patti Smith finally got her second album, Easter. Of course, this is definitely my favorite, and she played the entire Horses album live at Wayne West, which was great. But this album was also fucking great. Um, yeah, obviously Repress. This one, this is a bit more energetic album, not as, um, I guess, experimental as the uh, other one was, Horses. I uh, got some insert here, lyrics, and uh, pictures. Yeah, really great stuff. Um, the most famous song is on here, um, which I forget, I'm an idiot, uh, Because of the Night. <coughs> 
also we got some other songs on here which are really great. I'm pretty much uh, happy with these two, Patti Smith Records. I don't feel I need much more than this. Uh, horses in this one are phenomenal. If I can get into Patti Smith, definitely recommend that her first album. This one's also fucking great. Really happy to have this. Pretty much done with Patti Smith Records for quite a while now. Happy with this. Really great stuff. Uh, I guess you could call her the uh, godmother of punk. I'd say like she and uh, Iggy Pop are definitely kind of like the grandparents of punk, I guess, whatever. This is also the second record I have from this artist, and they finally did a repress on this because the um, other one was quite expensive. It was expensive for a reason because it was really like filled with a bunch of extra shit. This one's definitely cheaper, but I'm happy to have this nonetheless. It's Goo with Sonic Youth. Uh, yeah, definitely my favorite Sonic Youth album. Uh, really, really good stuff. Also, really love their artwork. Uh, I think that it's a friend of theirs who did this. Really, really classic. Classic stuff. Great uh, art rock alternative. Whatever you want to call it. Comes with an insert. A bunch of cool pictures. Yeah, I'm really glad I did a repress of this. Um, Cause yeah, I don't know if I would have um, paid uh, so much money for that one. You know, the other release is awesome, but you know, I have to pay rent and um, you know buy food and shit. 180 gram sounds fucking great. Yeah, I'm uh, so happy I finally got this. I love some of you. Yeah, probably the most well-known album. Great, great. 90s stuff. Uh, Moise Rock, alternative. Whatever you want to call them, it's kind of hard to um, put them in a special uh, specific genre. But yeah, great stuff. If you looking to get into Sonic Youth, definitely uh, Goo is the place to start. And we've got one final record. This is probably my first soul funk album, I guess. Uh, really great stuff. I love this album ever since I first heard it. Curtis Mayfield with Curtis. This album's fucking great. Love it. Love it. Yeah. Um, Gateful. Got pictures here. Really, really great stuff. Really, uh, most people probably familiar with. Um, um, God, I. Uh, da, 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 which one was it? Uh, I'm an idiot. I forgot what the song is called. I think it was. Um, Move on up. Pretty sure it was. Uh, the one that uh, Kanye West and Jay Z. Uh, sample the ages ago. Here's how the cover and the back looks together. Yeah, absolutely great phenomenal stuff. Old school shit. I really love uh, Wild and Free, uh, Miss Black America. And of course, if there's a hell below, we're all gonna go. Love this album. Unrated Grand. Also, really good summer stuff, which is why I bought it in the winter because I'm an idiot. But yeah, I just uh, I just kind of like went ahead and bought all the records I kind of been wanting to get for a while. So yeah. Also, bug me. Why the fuck did you put the number on the front here? But like, who does that? I mean, I get it if you put it here. That's obvious. But like, why the fuck would you put it on the cover for? And this is way too close to the edge here. Like, the head of the bleed. Hello. Yeah. Nonetheless, a uh, phenomenal album for looking to get into soul, and funky music. Uh, yeah, definitely check this one out because it's fucking great. Great stuff. Curtis Mayfield. Yeah, and um, those were all the records I had to show today. And um, yeah, until then, have a good one.